first episode got cut short. We had a rage quit in the second quarter. Honestly, a game that I still very well could have lost. He's there. I don't think that's... <gasps> Campbell! Just sick of watching me MM check down to a Koye. Couldn't take it anymore. And he left. <laughs> Damn it! His field goal! No! So today's episode, I'm gonna get you a full game super heater. Now looking at the team, since we got a rage quit, I spun the rage quit wheel and we landed a 96 overall Marshall Yonda, which means my offensive line is Yonda, Kelsey, Quentin Nelson, and Tyron Smith. So once we get this boy Earl Campbell up to full status, oh my. God, this team is going to be brutal. Herman Moore's looking great. Mahomes is still playing well for being a 90. Justin Jefferson, solid. Kittle is whatever. Hawkinson's been great. And then defensively, we're looking really ugly. DeMar Hamlin did have an amazing play, but he's clearly outdated. Junior Seau sucks. Mark Robinson sucks. My D-line is atrocious. DeMarcus Ware is trash. My corners could use a little help, obviously, but they'll be okay for now. And Palomalu is just trying to hold it all together. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. All right, honestly, just with my offensive line the way it is, I want to right tackle so bad. I know my defense needs more help, but we're so... Okay, 91 jackpot. There is a 91 right tackle, Forrest Gregg, who gets edge protector. Why don't we get ourselves a true middle linebacker? Like Junior Seau is just too dog water for me to keep using it. That or a D-tackle and inside stuff. There is one 91 overall D-tackle who gets discounted inside stuff, and it's Jeffrey Simmons. And he's like dirt cheap because of Redux. Jeffrey Simmons, 91 overall D-tackle. So Jeffrey Simmons, his stats are like a little dated. 92 block shit, 92 power moves is good. But this card came out forever ago. He gets a one AP inside stuff, and he is by far the best guy on our D-line. All right, our first wheel spin gets us a D-tackle. We probably needed that the most, so I'm not too upset about it. Now if we can get a middle linebacker or a right tackle. Oh! Back to the overall jackpot. 95, I'm going 95. I don't even think there is a 95 right tackle. Damn, I'm getting these jackpots, but they're not helping me out at right tackle. There are zero 95 overall right tackles. But there is a 95 left tackle who I could move to right tackle. He's a 93 at right tackle for whatever reason, but he'd still get edge protector, right? I think it still activates even though he's out of position. Anthony Munoz has a secondary position and it's right tackle. I'm taking Anthony Munoz. I'm finishing this whole line. I don't care who else I can get. I don't care whatever options there are. This will be the earliest and best Best O-line I have ever had in my career. 95 overall left tackle, Anthony Munoz. I'll move him to right tackle, give him edge protector, and hopefully Mahomes will have time to make good decisions back there. Let's go. Oh, he gets one AP identifier. That's actually going to save us. Or wait, does Kelsey also have that? I think Kelsey also has one AP identifier. Either way, edge protector over there. Secondary position, right tackle, so that he doesn't get the overall drop. I don't know if that even matters, to be honest, but beautiful. Great start. Key positions right now. D tackle, right tackle. Let's see what our final wheel spin is going to be. Can it somehow make me a little linebacker? Oh my god, there's so many good campus heroes. Are there any good linebackers? Oh, okay, so they updated campus heroes. It's got insane players. I'm forgetting. I know there's like Denard Robinson, but I don't actually like that Denard that much. There's 96 Keith Byers, 96 Judevian Clowney. There's Thomas Davis free safety, which would actually be kind of sick. Denard, Devonta Smith, Jason Verrett. We just got two of the best spins we could get. 91 Jackpot was okay, but this is nuts. This Thomas Davis, he's 6'1", he's fast. He could be a nasty user. He gets one AP Crusher and deep out zone KO. I'd have to move Damar Hamlin. Damar Hamlin did have a good last game. So no middle linebacker, but he's basically just our user in the middle. I'm gonna go Thomas Davis because he's the best player available. I just don't know if this is the right call. I kind of need a true middle linebacker and I still don't have one. So Demario Davis and CJ Mosley were good options, but they're 93s and they're short and they need Lurker to animate. I don't know. It's hard to complain about such a good wheel spin, but I mean, even Jadevian Clowney would have been a good pickup, but I think my secondary is more important. My sub linebacker is now Thomas Davis, who is a 98 overall at sub linebacker. I'm going to give Thomas Davis Crusher. So I think he gets one AP Crusher. Debout zone KO is probably better. I'm just keeping Crusher on him and I'm not going to mess with anything else. So defense is ready to go. I'm going to switch up my tactic with a Koye. So no more goal line back. I'm just going to run tank. All right, offense is good. I have four players on my offensive line with abilities. Yanda's the only one who does not have an ability. And that's only because I don't have any discounted abilities for him. I think if I had gotten all his legend pieces and his power up, I could have done it, but whatever. 
Only thing I'm worried about is my wide receivers are probably not good enough to beat man coverage right now. Like Herman Moore can and Hawkinson can, but George Kittle and Justin Jefferson are actually just useless. Like they're going to get bottled by anybody out there. Of course, we got the challenge wheel. I don't think I've been able to complete it yet. Would have been nice if we could, but we're sitting at two and one. Our challenge wheel for today is 30 fantasy points PPR with my halfback. Damn. Okay, so top three is looking good with Thomas Davis. I'll get back to the challenge wheel in a second. Yikes. Jesus, man. Playing against Lions Unis. You gotta love that, though. All right, well, this is weird for my halfback fantasy points because obviously Okoye is my better halfback, but we're supposed to be... S no, 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 please don't. We're supposed to be subbing in Earl Campbell. So is Okoye going to march us down, get a bunch of fantasy points, and then he's going to get sharked? He's going to get hawked by Earl Campbell? He throws up high! That's what we got Thomas Davis for. INT would have been nice, but good start. I'm blitzing Micah. I just got to go stop the corner route on the left side, I think. Shade outside. Oh, right side, right side. Shit, he's going in the middle. He's not open. He is open. Shit! Let's see it, Thomas Davis. First game of season. Oh, another corner route. This one's not open. Neither is that. Oh, no, but it's Hamlin. It's Hamlin! Hamlin again! Back-to-back -back games! Damar Hamlin! Flattened. Flattened. He's going to take it. Why is he so good? Let's fucking go. Game. No way. <laughs> Let's go. A Demar Hamlin interception. That's all it took. Honestly, I don't even feel like I earned that, but a win is a win. I guess that's all it takes. We've got a rage quit wheel spin. And then I promised you guys full gameplay, so we're going to go get another game in. I'll figure out how I want to do that. Let's see our rage quit wheel first. That looks like a lot of writing. What is that? Jumbo Fantasy Pack. I'm trying to remember which one this is. I don't even know if this is still in the store. All right, so that is not still in the store, but instead, we're just going to do any fantasy pack that we can. So instead of that, we'll just do the wild card playoffs pack right here. So that moves us to three and one. 91 Cameron Bynum. Dude, honestly, he's probably really good, but I'm not taking Demar Hamlin out. Demar Hamlin has been fucking MVP. So I can't. Edron James, 83. 86 Michael Burton. That'll be an awesome fullback. I can't take Demar Hamlin out. He's been way too good. Well, so long as Okoye is like my fake halfback for a while, I think Michael Burton is going to be great here. So that's huge. We're going to do two things right now. Number one, I'm wishy-washy on this rule. I don't know when I want to use it, but the number one person who was screwed over in that game was Earl Campbell. Because if we play four quarters of football, I at least have a chance to get an upgrade for Earl Campbell. Whereas he rage quits, I'm closer to the playoffs, but Earl Campbell doesn't get an upgrade. So I am going to give Earl Campbell an upgrade for the rage quit. So this doesn't happen all too often. There's a rage quit that fast. But my concern is that the team would get too good too quick if I took another two wheel spins and then played another Another game all in one episode so here's what i'm gonna do i'm taking one wheel spin right now all right and this next game we are playing for this wheel spin which is does that say fucking playoffs Jack? oh my god why are my odds so insane why why have i been getting every best wheel spin ever playoffs jackpot is any single playoffs player in the game i think there's the fact that i have literally nobody on my d-line that's like commendable it means i have to go aaron donald but 96 champ bailey is a really good option too my corners are a little bit dated and obviously i get aggroed on a lot i think we go 96 aaron donald for half a million coins oh my god all right so there's still a lot on the line but our players from the start are locked in we did get a win 93 speed 93 excel insane block shot and power moves he would be a pretty damn good prestige actually if i can win this game and hang on to him probably won't rock with unstoppable force but now this is good inside stuff for one edge threat for two well this will be pretty massive because now micah isn't the only one who we're dependent on for some pressure on the quarterback did i upgrade earl campbell did i forget to give him his little upgrade i did let's go i'm almost tempted to make earl campbell the starter right now but i don't think he's ready for it let's wait till he's at least at 90 overall we'll let okoye keep trucking along CD Lamb, Steve Atwater, Mech. My top three is better. This is like the first time. Rogers hands off to Brian Robinson. 10 yards early. Yikes. Oh, he's got a corner route open. He's got Brian Robinson too. Oh, the corner route is kind of open. He could technically take off. Where are you throwing? Rogers. <gasps> no, please don't quit. Please don't quit. I'll take that though to start. All right, let's get some, let's rack up some PPR points. There's Campbell. We've got a great O-line. We should be able to run the ball. And I can hit a Koye. Not Campbell, but definitely the kind of guy we want out there. Oh, my God. We're going no huddle, dude. We're hitting him hard right now. I'm going Herman. I'm going Herman. Let's go. Get up, big boy. Go right up the middle with Earl Campbell behind a Koye and that insane O-line. I expect great blocks. And I've got him. All right, let's hit Campbell out the backfield now, yeah? Uh-oh, he's pressed up a little closer now. That's not all that open. Oh, but he's going to chuck him. 
Let's go. I got three or four fantasy points on this first drive with Campbell. There's a lot going on. He should just get confused. Oh, shit. No, he was not confused. So Earl Campbell is not a pass catcher. Second and ten. Hawkinson. Go up tall. No, I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. That's just such a... Oh, Campbell, you got to track him down, buddy. You got to track him down, buddy. Your fantasy points for tackle. That was so greedy. This is the defense I can't run. I just clicked it by default. That's a good ball. Oh, no. It's big boy Parham. Just make a simple tackle, guys. First and ten. He could run this ball still. He doesn't. Slip screen. Shit, I got trampled. That was gonna go for yards. I got trampled by the O-line, but that was open. Second and ten. I don't think he's done anything! Aaron Donald! Let's go! In his debut, Aaron Donald gets back to quarterback. Third and 22, nice play. He throws a short check down. Now it's fourth and 17. That's fine by me. Fourth and 17! We just sent some pressure. Wait, what is it? I don't think he was going to get it anyway, but he pumped fake. I got to get Earl Campbell in the end zone. Campbell's not all that open, but if he breaks a tackle, second and 10, little PPR point, that's all. Got to wait for it. There it is. Ooh, that's a tight window. Let's actually hand it off, dude. We got so many big boys. We got to be able to run this ball. Ugh. Little checky down for Earl Campbell, and then Hawkinson as a blocker. That was a genius play. Oh, wait, I'm going to have the check down if he gets there. Yes, you got room. Go, go, go. He calls a timeout. It's 4th and 13. I don't think I'm going to lose this game. I think I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this and try and get Earl Campbell a touchdown. Hold your blocks, gentlemen. There he is. Beauty. Beauty. Beauty! Oh, let's go! To the 4! I formation. Insane O-line. Okoye blocking. I believe. Let's go, baby. Let's see the call. Oh, get the edge. No, no. You have to hold that block. I guess it was Hawkinson. I'm going right side. Same thing right side. Yup. Okoye? This is a bad angle by me. I'm gonna hit Earl. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> Let's go! Earl Campbell's in the end zone. And honestly, that was even more fantasy points because he gets the PPR. If I get the two-point conversion with him, it's even more. Let's go right at the middle. Let's go right at the middle. No more dicking around. Dive! He's in! He's got a lot of fantasy points. I know he doesn't have 30. He's got to have at least 15 or 16 right now, though. And that's in the first half, so we're right on pace. Play action. Go, Thomas Davis. Got him! I got through the pressure. Rock Aaron Rodgers. Let's go. Oh, he's got halfback. Doesn't get it off. <gasps> that ball was live. Micah gets the QB. I'm on Parham. Oh, no. I'm on the ground. Parham so... <gasps> Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald just saved me. I literally was rolling on the ground. I'm calling timeout. You got to punt me that ball. I'm already in scoring range. You go for this and don't get it. Just got to sit back here with Thomas Davis and find what he wants to throw. Good defense. And now I'm in scoring range. Probably another one for Earl Campbell if he doesn't quit. Oh, no. I only got 11 seconds. Take that back. Laser. 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 Okay, so it's man coverage. I got to hit Herman Moore in the middle. And then sit down. And then, yes. And then with two seconds left, I go for Earl Campbell. I'm going to go inside zone. Like, it's got to be like a trips inside zone. And I'm going to motion Hawkinson out. So it definitely looks like a pass play. And then we're just going to hand this off to Earl Campbell. Yep. Yep, look at his user. His user's over there looking at it. Come on. Come on. Oh, shoot. I don't think I could snap it with him out there. Go. Oh my god, he was right there. I need to see it. I need to see the replay, dude. I swear he was across. Hey, we still got another second half of football. We do the same thing. The whip route should be there. Oh, no, it's not. I had the corner out. Even if he's in man here, I think we beat it. I think Hawkinson kind of beats it. Fuck it, Herman Moore. Let's go. Oh, Herman! Dude, he's got Isaiah Simmons in the middle, too. I think he was just shocked at how stupid of a pass that was that I would still throw it. Look at this. Look at this. Herman Moore with an insane block. He switches on to the wrong guy. Earl Campbell is moving. Oh, honestly, Campbell might have been there. Let's just take the check down. What are the odds halfback draw works on third and six? It's a psycho play call. Let's just go quick base. Get a little pull from our left guard, and those blocks are beautiful. But it's fourth and one. He expects me to run it again. I'm not going to. It's in a man blitz, I think. Oh, can you get there? Oh, my God. Pat Sertan! I don't have the wheels. Hell of a play, dude. I had like three yards of separation, I thought. Look at that. Feels like I have separation. That's just a bad ball by Mahomes. Oh, he's got to go for two. Right, right, right. He's got to go for two. Is he running this? Yup. Oh, look who's there! 
Jeffrey Simmons. Two point lead. That's big. A score and a point after, and it's a two possession lead. Oh my God. This game is closer than it should be. Herman Moore is going end zone right here. Are you ready? There he is. Well, not end zone, but you're kidding. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, how is it perfect accuracy if it's two yards out in front of him? Mahomes is struggling right now. He thinks I'm going the same thing, so I won't. I'll actually hit Kittle this time. Oh, look who we got. Jefferson's not going to let him do it twice. Nice work, Justin Jefferson. I'm going to hit the inside zone. Let's see if his, his user kind of bails out here for the pass. No, but a great block. He's flattened. Oh, Quentin Nelson. Now we throw underneath to Campbell. Uh-oh. Wait, if he'll go, 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 Campbell. You're there. You're so open. Can he make the throw? I was scrambling around like a madman. I'm not mad he didn't make that. That's a tough throw. All right, I'm going to run this stretch. Hopefully it does well. And then I'm going play action. Good cutback. Great downfield blocking. Okay. I mean, Campbell's there. He... That was a good... That was actually a really good play. This is what I couldn't score on. I'm, I'm sending it. Let's go. Yes, back where his user was. Get in there! That's gotta be 30. It has to be. That was a hell of a drive. Let's go! Earl Campbell rushing has 63 yards and a touchdown. Receiving, he's got 8, 50 yards and a touchdown. So that's 8, 14, 19, 25, 31, plus his two-point conversion, 33. He's over 30 right now. He's at 33. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get him another touchdown, though, for a big upgrade. Let's go, Thomas. Davis. I'm bailing out right side hard. That middle's open. Ooh, nice catch, but I don't think he got it. Does he run it? He doesn't. He's gonna pass it. Oh! Ah! I don't He can't really win the game here, so whatever. It's literally possible, but not really. Oh, he's got that. Oh, no, he doesn't have... What a ball. Oh! Oh! House it. House it. All right, now we just move the ball downfield as fast as we can. And Hawkinson is going to help us do that with a lot of yards right here. Yup, get around that. Got the check down. Oh, Earl. Earl. Oh, yep. Dive for it. You psycho. Keep going, Herman. Keep going, Herman. I need you. What a catch. Three seconds. We're on the four. I got to hand him the inside zone. Herman Moore's a god. I'm handing him this. I got no timeouts left. The final play. This is four. An extra upgrade. Let's go. Let's read it. Oh, Jesus. Not even a block on him. We didn't do anything wrong there. We played that right. Monster game, though, from Earl Campbell. Definitely got his 30. Let's take a look. Dude, I need to see. No, 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 no. First thing we got to do, we got to go look at this first half stop. Oh, on second and two, he rushes for three yards, but somehow that was not a touchdown. Well, player stats, though. So we needed 30 fantasy points with our running back. He got six on the ground, plus a touchdown is 12. Plus a two-point conversion is 14. Plus 11 receptions is 25. 75 yards is 32 two and a half and the touchdown is 38 and a half fantasy points for Earl Campbell. So now we can pick a pack from the store to open. Also, this is the last wheel of mine I'm recording before new cards come out. So just in case one of my prestiges has like an awesome card in the game right now that I haven't added to the team, I apologize, but it will be on for the next episode. So one of any pack in the store that costs coins, wild card playoffs might be the best because it's two 86 pluses and an 80 plus elite. I just kind of be looking for like a D tackle or linebacker, linebacker. Oh my God. If we get a linebacker, it'll just be the best day ever. Come on, baby. Halfback definitely doesn't help. That is a bummer. 88. Oh, left end. Not a weekend. That's actually pretty good. Right, 88 left end is solid. And Avante Maddox does not help us, but Justin Matabuike. So our left end instead of Sam Roberts is now Justin Matabuike with 84 speed. 89 black shed. He's all right. He's certainly an upgrade though. And it's finally time for Mr. Okoye to feel the pain of a demotion. So Earl Campbell is going to be a 93. Not No, he's going to be a 91. So he gets his 89 upgrade for the first touchdown and his 91 upgrade for the second touchdown. Down. He's now two touchdowns away. Another game just like that from his 95 overall. But already he's got way more speed, way more excel. Actually played damn good, you know, with what he's got. He unlocked evasive. He still can't get tank or goal line back, which are really the only ones I'd want on him. So none of these are too useful yet. I am going to give him freight train. Our O-line is so good. And with a Koye blocking, I, I think we're going to be able to run the ball just so effectively in all future games. It's going to replace a Koye in all those slots. And Michael Burton, thank you for your service. Not really. He didn't really do anything. 95 a Koye will actually go to fullback. I can take 10 off of him and we can use one more ability elsewhere offense is spectacular i think one more elite wide receiver and we're good here defense is uh not the same but we're not quite in the playoffs yet we are four and one we got some time anyway all right gentlemen amazing episode i love you guys thank you so much for the support as always i'll see you in the next game let's get this money peace